If you want to animate sprites in Blender, this is one way I've found that seems pretty straightforward. Um, so I've imported this image and I'm going to go into edit mode and use a loop cut, cut right there. So I just use the scroll wheel to get to three so, because we have three frames. Then I'm going to delete these. This method will only work for um, like one row of sprites, but you can adapt it. Uh, one thing we're going to do is here in shading, change this value to closest so that we don't get any filtering. Okay, so what we need to do is move this through here, just, you know, from one frame to the other so we can cycle through the animation. And how we're going to do that is here in the shading tab, we're going to add a mapping and a texture coordinate. So we're going to use this UV value and then we're going to use this location to adjust everything. So right now we're in the middle here and we're going to move this back to the beginning. And I moved it 0.33 because the uh, amount of frames here, uh, if we divide one by the amount of frames, we're going we're gonna to use that as the value to step through here. So if I add a vector math node here, and if I just to show 0.33 is the next frame and then 0.66 is the last frame. Hooking this up to here, if I change this to multiply, I set this to our value. So basically, if you, you set up all your sprite sheets the same way, you can reuse this, or all you have to do is adjust this. So if we had four frames, this would be 0.25. Um, then we can just adjust this and cycle through the frames. So zero would be the first frame, one is the second frame, two is the third frame. Uh, and to make it more convenient, when we're animating, we're going to add a custom property. And this is going to be, we change the settings, an integer. And we're going to call it frame. OK. If we right click, we can copy as new driver. And then if we paste that in here, every time we increase this, we get a new frame, which this maximum needs to be two. So there we go. And to actually use this right here, all we have to do is go here and we can use the I key to set a keyframe. And let's move over like four frames or three frames and then set another keyframe and another keyframe. And then I guess we go back. And now we have a walk cycle. And we can scale this to adjust the timing. I added a little extra space here because this frame will only last as long as, um, you know, after this point. So we need more time after it. So yeah, that's one way to do an animated sprite sheet in Blender.